Hello, this is Laptop Media, and today, we will show you how to open the Acer Predator Triton 500 PT51552 and what's inside of it. Having such a tight body, means you have to sacrifice something. The biggest sacrifice altogether is the ease of upgrading this laptop. Surely, you can do it, but you have to have some skill and balls to open the Triton 500 up. The first step is basically the same as any other notebook on the market, remove the screws, then pry the bottom panel up and voila, you're inside. However, this leads you to nothing, except for a possible battery change. In order to have access to the viable internals, you need to dig further. Next, you have to remove the hefty 84 watt hours battery, which is held in place by two Phillips head screws. After that, you have to carefully disconnect a couple of ribbon cables from the motherboard. Then, you have to remove some screws, one of which is hidden by the screen cable between the two fans. Acer Predator Triton 500 is equipped with a very sophisticated cooling solution. There are a total of five heat pipes, one common for the CPU and GPU. One each for either of them, as well as one dedicated to the system's VRMs and one for the VRAM. They are bent and twisted in such a way, that forces the fans to blow both backward and sideways. The storage options comprise of two M.2 NVMe slots in RAID 0. We were further impressed to see two RAM SOD IMMs on this motherboard.
If you'd like to see more disassembly videos of the latest notebooks we would highly appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.